going deeper and deeper into the dark, cold depths of Antarctic waters. And I start to think about how long it's going to be before we reach the bottom. It can be 20 minutes, 25 minutes before we get down there. So it's like a very long, slow elevator ride th down through the ocean. Usually about 20 feet off the bottom, we get our first glimpse of, you know, an undiscovered world. And it could be anything. Most of the surface of our planet is ocean. The Southern Ocean is the heart of the world's ocean. Antarctica is, is probably the most pristine area in the whole world. It's also one of the least explored places on our planet. The problem with the way we think about our oceans is that for so much of human existence, we've imagined that the oceans were so vast that we could do anything and it would have no lasting impact. Now we know better but the regulations haven't caught up yet. One of the most important things about Antarctica in the face of climate crisis is that the poles act as reflectors, sending heat back into the atmosphere. If we are heating up that atmosphere and we're melting the ice cover at both poles, we lose that protection. We were able to go much farther south into the Weddell Sea than really any of us imagined would be possible. It's a real wake-up call, going into the Weddell Sea and seeing no ice in any direction. Antarctic is warming faster than anywhere else on Earth. Climate change has been melting the sea ice here in Antarctica very quickly. There is less ice here right now than at any other time in recorded history. Most people are very surprised to learn that there is so much life under the waters around Antarctica. Sanctuaries are the best tool that we have to rebuild depleted populations, to protect biodiversity, and to give our oceans a fighting chance against the impacts of climate change and plastic pollution and industrial fishing. We need to focus on conservation right now. Otherwise, we don't even know what we're losing. The United Nations is negotiating a global ocean treaty, and if they get it right, it will enable us to scale up sanctuaries for the first time. There exist three proposals for marine protected areas within the Southern Ocean. These proposals have been on the table for many, many years. We don't need any more science. What we need is public pressure to get them out of the political quagmire that they're in at the moment. The ocean around Antarctica is owned by no one. It belongs to all of us. It is everybody's responsibility to do their part to make sure this pristine and beautiful, rugged environment and all the life that lives here is protected. I want the world's leaders to feel personally the responsibility that lies on their shoulders. If the oceans die, there's no hope for humanity. We've run out of time for empty words and promises. <laughs>